Uh, we're there then, yeah? Yes, good to go. Yeah. Good to go. Off you Epis go. Episode 25? Yes, we haven't thought of a name for it yet, have we? No, we haven't. Um, Is this uh, coming soon, something like that? It's the eight sites in eight counties, counties trip. Yeah. Two months. Yes. Two months. Well, not quite. I've got to put up with you for two months in a white box. Likewise. Hmm. Okay. Shall we? Um, yeah, yeah, please. Let's get on with the beer. Because I might need some <laughs> for the next two months. Mm. <laughs> right. Anyway. Let's get started. It's a general chit chat of what's going to be happening in the next two months, correct? Yep. Firstly, though, you're on the regular stuff, the banks. Yep. Uh, this is research, this one. So I'm, I'm on the cheap stuff. Yep. And this is thanks to Sam and Andy, who yep. brought these over when we saw them in the New Forest. Oh, right. Well, and um, this didn't put out very well, did I? But this no. is from Swanage. All right. Cheers, then. So, cheers. Cheers. Right, let's get started then. What's in the news this week, Richard? Right, this week's site arrival, Putts mm -hmm. Corner, Caravan Motor Home Club sites in Devon. Who give us that? Uh, Anne Brooks. Excellent. And we learnt this week we're going to see Anne Brooks at Twitter camp as well. Excellent. So meet her the first time. So we'll really come on to that, to that in a minute. Yep. yep. Um, just near Honiton, I think that site is. So it's a handy stop off point for those sort of travelling a long way down to Devon and on to yeah. Cornwall. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Right, the poll results. Wild camping, yes or no? <laughs> it's got people going this one, it's doesn't got it? it? Well, all our polls seem to get people going. Yeah. But, um, but this one, it's, it's a funny one because yeah. Twitter has produced virtually exactly the reverse of what Facebook has produced. Well, once again, yeah. Um, the difference is marginal. Um, yeah. Twitter marginally said no to wild camping. Yeah. Uh, this is wild camping in the whole of the UK. Yeah. And Facebook marginally said yes. Yeah. Um, do you th do you think that it, I know Twitter? We only got one hundred and one against Facebook, three hundred and three. Mm. But do you think think sometimes because on Twitter, it's a much more um, closer interaction, if you like, or fast interaction. You get possibly a different different mm, result. Maybe. I don't know. Cause it's just interesting that last week we got the same difference. difference. I mean, again, the difference is marginal, but yeah. it's there. It was it was interesting. You know, we've had some great comments again. Mm. And I think, I, although the mar you know Facebook has come out slightly in agreement with yeah. wild camping, there is an awful lot of people agree with the fact that, that rubbish is one of the biggest mm. problems with wild. Like camping. the idea of wild camping, wild camping, but they know the problems it's likely to bring if it was. It, yeah. If it was to be, you know, I think it's one of them difficult ones. Well, let's not, you know, get it wrong. People do it anyway. Well, they and, do do it anyway. And and I imagine and most people that do it are responsible and leave, leave no traces is what they say don't they yeah but, but there, there, was, there was one guy made a very interesting comment mm. and i thought it was interesting because he was right yeah you know he likened wild camping mm. to people going for a picnic in yeah. the park yeah and we don't ban that yeah and a, there is still a very small percentage of people mm. that go into a park they will have a picnic yeah and they will just dump their rubbish yep. where they've left it you know? Absolutely, yeah. And mm. we know that living mm. on the beach mm. or living close to a beach. You can go down there. Today is a great mm. day. We should be doing an outside, but we're not. No. Um, and I guarantee if we walk down our beach mm. at 7, 8 o'clock tonight, well, it'd still be full then. Yeah. But if we went down there at 9 o'clock tonight, there would yeah. be rubbish in certain areas on that beach yeah. everywhere. And yet there's signs up, there's bins up, there's everything yeah. up, and they would still leave it there, yeah. wouldn't they? And, and, and so I think... He's right, you know, in a way, mm. no matter what you do, yeah. you're going to get There's people. There's always going to be those that spoil it for others, aren't they? And, and so, yeah. yeah. And it would be nice, mm. you know. I, 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 I think we voted no, didn't we? I haven't voted at all yet. Haven't you? No. <laughs> I think we said no because of the rubbish problems. Yeah. Think. Well, I voted no, mm. I think, in case. Yeah, uh, you know, because of and the you are problem. unanimous in that, dear. I'm unanimous in that, but no. But I can understand people loving it. You know, we've got, we've got, we know people on Twitter mm. and everything else who, who just would, you know, die to, to be mm. able to park their caravan, you know, on a half on a beach and, yeah, you know, in front of it and, you know, a drastic step to take. But there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so that's the news. That's the poll. Yeah. Uh, we forgot all about this. We haven't done a poll for next week yet. No. Well, we're not sure what we're doing next week yet, are no, we? But so, there will be a so poll. So there will be a poll at some point. It will about be about something. And it will come out um, tomorrow, yeah. before this even. Yeah. But there will be a poll, yeah. but we haven't even discussed that today, have we? No. 
<laughs> so yeah, there will be a poll on something. There'll be a poll. There'll be a poll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, so what else is in the news? Al Archive is was until I started this up to date. Right. So that is the last one of your research. No, there's stock? still two more in the cupboard. Oh. Um, but I haven't started on them yet, so they're pending. They're pending. But I've got to try and clear them up this week, ready for hopefully a new batch. A new new batch. Um, what's for a while? I thought we were having a teetotal holiday. This well, time. you might be. Uh, <laughs> no chance. No. No chance. Right. Let's get on with the trip. Yep. Starts next Sunday. Yes. So when this goes out, it will have started. No, no, no because this goes out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, We've got another week at work yet. Yeah. Well, a week today then. Yes. If I say it as a week today, yeah. uh, the trip starts. Well, it depends it? when people watch it. Yeah, that's true. Right, so let's get on with it. Sunday week. Where is the first stop? Uh, we're going to the Cotswolds, yep. uh, Oxfordshire and Burford. And this is an adult only Adult flight? only, which I don't recall us actually booking it because it was adult only, do you? Uh, we didn't book it because it was adult only. Because obviously I think for, for most it. schools are still out and... Yeah, so it wouldn't have been Or, or stood in, rather. Because to be fair, we don't book adult only sites for any particular reason only. We do tend to, when the schools are out, we do it for cheapness, actually. Don't yeah, we? skin flints, yeah. No, but because a lot of adult only no, sites not. tend to be more reasonable during the prices holiday. don't go up as much no. as family sites do but we picked this because of its position yeah. location really it's yeah. right on the edge of Burford it's itself. apparently a five minute walk into Burford and apparently Burford has six pubs so that's that time sorted <laughs> and is hopefully it? that butchers is still there. Do you oh, remember yes, last time yes, we've got some great burgers. burgers? Now we've had a few burgers in our time, yeah, but they still rate amongst the best, don't they? The best, so yeah. I'm I'm yeah so, so yes, we yeah. shall be walking into Burgers yeah. just to buy a, bur a burger. Yeah. Um, we might have to buy some beers ready for the next stop. Yes, because which is, after Burford, yes, we go on to Morton in Marsh. What was it? Morton in Marsh. We've been to Morton. Is it Morton in Marsh or Morton on the Marsh? In Marsh. In Marsh. Yep. Yeah. No, the pub's called Morton on the Marsh. Isn't no, it? the pub's called Inn on the Marsh. Is it? Um, yeah. Get there in a minute. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is a caravan and motorhome club site. site. We've been there twice before. Yep. Big Great site. site. I love it. Handy. Got Morton in Marsh. What, five minute walk away? It's not even that, is it? No. First pub. Yeah, well, not one on the corner there. It's less than five mm -hmm. minutes. Um, it is a nice site. It's a very pretty site for yep. a big site, isn't yep. it? It's divided. Like two halves, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the one half they do virtually shut off, I think, at some point, I don't think they, when it gets, the goes quieter, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But it is a great site. We've managed to stay both sides. Yeah. We'll have to stay in the middle this time, won't yeah. we? Yeah. So, so, yeah, it's a great site. Looking forward to that. It's our 10th Twitter camp. Uh, is it 10th or 9th? I think it's 9th or 10th. Yeah, so the fifth year, anyway. Fifth year. Um, we've got some old regulars coming. Yeah, and some new faces, too, which would be great. Yeah. Um, um, well, we saw Martin Davis. Briefly at the, show. at the show. Looking forward to catching up with him, but yeah. we're seeing Anne, uh, we're seeing Alan, we've seen yeah. Paul. Um, yeah, there's some new people. Yeah. But obviously, the old ones Neil, Dave, yep. David Bell. Yep. Um, David Bell's obviously yep. one of the originals, like us. Yeah, we'll um, see Alison there too, won't we? Alison, Alison, yep. you know, yeah, so, and Sam and Andy. You know, unfortunately, we've Helen heard... Helen and Rob, yeah. Helen and Rob, yeah. We've heard it's booked out of the weekend, isn't it? Apparently it is now, yeah. But if you still wish to come, I think there's availability Sunday mm. and Monday. We're there mm. till Tuesday. And don't rely on the online booking. No. Pick the phone up, phone the site directly. Yeah, because who was that? Alan. Alan. He got the extra two nights, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. We, we advised him to give him a ring. We, yeah. He rang him and he's got the extra two nights. Yeah. So, so we're looking forward to that. New faces and old faces. Yeah. Same old format, though. Yeah. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. Yep. Bit of drink, bit of food. Yep. And some um, laughs, hopefully. And, and, and sponsored all by Cover for Caravans. Caravans, yep. They will be feeding us at breakfast time. Yep. And a couple of barbies. Possibly the old Barbie as well, yeah. Yeah, old yep. Barbie. We'll, we'll, you know, so thank you, uh, Richard Burgess yep. uh, from Cover for Caravan. I'm sure we will enjoy your breakfast bacon rolls. Very much so, yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. So. Right. Anyway, from there we go back to our home only again. Yes, we do. And back to South Wales. Yep. I'm going to try and say it. Clinifon Farm. Oh, that's very good. Well, <laughs> I don't know how Welsh Paul Davis, to tell, us, tell, us, tell us how good it was. Yeah. 
Uh, we went there before, and we mentioned this site before because we stopped there on the way to Ireland. How do you pronounce his name? Is it Huel? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'm sure. I should say it again. Don't. No, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Huel and Catherine. Yeah. Very much looking forward to seeing them again. Beautiful site. Lovely views over. Brother and sister. Yeah. Brother and sister. So we're really looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, do a little site tour there as well. We're hoping to meet Paul Davis. Yes, hope so. Yeah. Um, what's his um, Twitter handle? It's Paul sixty seven Davis. Yeah. No. And um, his blog. Um, um, oh, it used to be. Yeah. Home is, home is where you drag it. That was it. Home yeah. is where you drag it. Anyway, oh, I'm surprised you haven't asked. Yeah. Are you going to link? Yes. yes link, below. link below. Links below, Paul. And we're hoping to meet Paul. We're going to have a few beers with him. Hopefully, hopefully. yep. Should be good. Um, so look out for this um, night when we meet up with Paul. Yep. Um, right, then we're going... We're Come, coming, coming back east a little yep. to Longleat. Again, Longleat is a caravan and a motorhome motor club site. site. Yes. Again, a lot of you on Twitter will know Gail yep. and Mark. Mark. Uh, they're the wardens there. Looking forward to catching up with them again. And we're going to catch up with them again. And might, there might, might be, be just a, a beer involved. Beer or, or two, in per chance, yeah. Per, per, quite possibly. Looking forward to that. So so again, so far, we're going to be meeting... Well, Burford's the only site so far where we're, we're not going to meet anybody. Not that we're we aware of anyway, though. No, if anyone's out there, come and see us at Burford, because, you know, we're going to be a bit lonely. I'm going to be incognito, I'm going to wear white. Are you really? I'm going to put people off. I'm going to put people off. So looking forward to Longleat. Yep. I've heard, obviously... The safari parks there. Yeah. But I've heard the house is pretty mm. spectacular. Yes. So, you yeah. know, we've never done it. Yeah, we've got a week there, I think, just under, haven't we? So yeah, yeah, we've got a week there. Um, we've got some other things happening whilst we're there, but which we'll talk about at a lot Ooh, later. Get day. you, Secret Squirrel. Yeah, Secret Squirrel. Well, it's, it's the in thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see some new caravans. That's yeah. all we're going to say. <laughs> That's all we're going to say. We're no, we ain't going to buy one. No, 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 we're not going to no, buy one. Patsy's perfectly safe. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Right, so that's there. Yep. Now, right, next stop. We're heading, quite a, yeah, quite a trundle um, yeah. across to Essex yeah, and so just outside Colchester to Woodpecker Meadow. So again, we're going because we're going to meet people again. Yes, well, we're stopping at, well, the main reason we're stopping here is because my cousin's youngest is getting married, yep. beginning of August. Yep. So we're going to be nearby for that. Um, so obviously we'll catch up spend with Spend a bit of time with, with, with Andy family. and Janet too. Yep. We're going to nip to South End to see the aforementioned Richard Burgess Richard and his Burgess. team, have a catch yep, up with have him. Have a catch up with them. We're going to hope, good. hope to do a little specials natter. Natter or two, yep. Yep, so they'll look out for that. Useful caravan in insurance information. Yep. Hopefully going to come with that. Um, but going back to your cousins, yeah, we've got going to the wedding. This particular site is, again, at our owner, isn't yeah. it? But it's a CS. Yeah. So there's only five pitches, I believe? Yeah, well, I think it was a CS, but I think they've developed more pitches, and it's oh, a site right. in its own right now. But it's, um, got, it's got its own shower, well, it's, it's, one shower, it's a couple of toilets. Shower, toilet, hook yeah. up, and it's 15 quid a night, so yeah, just, we're there for two weeks, aren't we? It looks very pretty on the mm. website. Yeah, it does. Um, it's lovely. But again, watch this space yep. to see if it's see, any good. Yeah. Uh, because go, While we're, we're saying that, obviously we're going to be doing site tours. Yeah. Um, there'll be um, site arrival videos. Some of these we've already Some done. Some already done. Be site tours for all of them so yeah, far. Yeah, for all of them. Yeah. Um, we will be doing our normal site and area reviews. Reviews for, cover, for again cover, cover for caravan. caravan. Yep. Not that we're getting paid here for this. Keep mentioning their name. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so there will be there. Um, so uh, watch this space for this uh, little CS. Yeah. It no, looks very time. interesting on on and the reviews look good, don't yeah. they? So I'm looking forward to it. Fifteen quid a night in yeah. end of July. August, yeah. Well, it's not quite August, is it? So Well we're there in August, aren't we? Are we? Yeah. Oh yeah. When's the wedding? The third. Oh right. So we still are there, yep. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Right, then This is the day before Sheik are on down here in Brighton, which I'm oh, gonna, miss. gonna miss. Not on bitter. No. <laughs> You got to put up with me instead. Mm, yes, I'm a dear. bit chic. Right. Anyway, yeah. after the wedding, after the family uh, yep. get together, we're sticking with family. Well, we're sticking with Annie and Janet certainly, yep. and we're heading up to Norfolk, yep. to just outside, a few miles outside of Kings Lynn, yep. to Mark Narborough Fisheries, yep. which, as the name might suggest, is a caravan park with fishing lakes. It's got five or six fishing yep. lakes, I believe. Um, yep. So we're looking again. 
it's, it's, you know, well, we wouldn't normally book a fishing lake. No. There is a funny thing, which we'll go on to in a minute. Yeah. Uh, we've done this because Andy loves his fishing, doesn't he? Well, Andy, Andy, Andy books it all up for us. Yeah. Um, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And we it's do just enjoy a bit it. Bit of family catch up time. And we sit there with a beer watching him fish, don't we? Yeah, and someone's. Um, Help or hinder. Or hinder. <laughs> or he gets one on the line. I yeah. don't know if Bray's coming, but his grandson loves loves fishing. Yeah, I'm not sure what they got plans I'm for. I'm not that. sure, no. but he, he'll mm. be, you know, it'd be great if he does because mm. he just loves the fishing, doesn't he? And, yep. You know, and we, um, you know, the drinking that we do, and he sits there laughing at us, doesn't he? Because yep. he do not like a drink at all, does he? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, then we are doing something again, which is quite strange for us. We're going to another fishing site, aren't we? Phil's End. Yeah. yeah. Now, again, we're only doing this because it's in the middle of August. Yeah. We need, we don't need to, but we've we've got people we need to catch up with in Cambridgeshire again, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, it's in Doddington, so um, it's in Cambridgeshire. It's a little way out, but yeah. it's 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 a, it's, one, it's a site we haven't tried before. No, so. and, and, and it has got fishing, um, but we're, you know, we're going there because it's adult only. Yeah, and um, it's part of our sort of making yeah. our way back I think in the south. middle of August it's still only costing us 25 quid yeah. a night yeah it's pretty reasonably priced for the so, time, time of year time I think, of year yeah. in a very expensive area yeah. so and, and hopefully again we're going to be meeting up with a lot of old friends yep. during that week there aren't we yep. um, so again another adult only site watch this space for the site and area reviews indeed yep uh, and then we're going back to good old Caravan and Caravan Home, Home Club, Club for, and we're second attempt at visiting this site, yep. which is Ashridge Farm yep. uh, near Baldock, Hertfordshire. Yep. We planned to go on from there at Christmas, but then yeah. of course your mum passed, passed away, away so, so we had to shoot straight up to Cambridge. So we're just trying to make just, a return trip. Yeah, home. just a little site. I think it's only got less than 40 pitches, I think. Yeah, it's just um, off the A1, isn't yeah. it? One thing I hope to do while we're there is we're not going to be far away from the English Caravan Company. What is their name? Lynn and Richard. Lynn and Richard. You know, they design and build them. If you're watching, yeah. watch this, you know, watch out for a tweet because we would love to come <laughs> and go. <laughs> Retain the sudden holiday. Yeah. We're, we're in town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, honestly. If I know once around, before we were trying to meet up with them and something happened, so something happened, hopefully yeah. we can cook up this time. It would be nice because I'm, I'm very, I, I love what they do with yeah. some of these caravans. Oh, fantastic, aren't they? So if we do get the opportunity to come and see them or, yeah. you know it will be great won't yes. it? it really will. Yes, it will and hopefully if we do we'll bring a little video or something hopefully yeah. but you know we're, so mm. looking forward to that so anyway Richard that's the trip that is our summer um, eight weeks yep eight counties yep eight sites yep it's all about eight it is yeah so um, let's see how it goes we just need the weather yep it's all I want um, decent you know, weather to be 80 be degrees all the time yep. that'd be nice wouldn't it um, that's a summer. We should be doing blogs. Yep. Well, sorry. Who should be doing blogs, dear? You'll be doing blogs. Yeah. Um, you'll be doing video. Yep. You'll be doing site arrival yep. videos. You'll be doing site tour mm. videos. And I should be having eight weeks sitting in the deck chair. Yeah, thanks, Trev. Having a beer. I might now and again cook you breakfast. Yeah, great. Just, you know, just to keep you, you know. Well, you are young. Right, anyway. So, yeah. before... We say any more? Do yeah. you think the camera's still running? It's still. I don't running. know. You can see the timer. I can't. Well, if we quickly say this, yeah, Richard. Yes. It's that time. Yes. It's time for. Yes. I'm going to do it right again. Just get on with it. It's time for Diary of the Dead. Of course, for that. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. First on our list this week is Tony Hancock, who was just 44 when he died in 1968. I loved both his TV and radio shows and still listen to him regularly. Um, very, very entertaining man, very clever too. Such a sad loss. Just a year later, we said goodbye to Judy Garland, just at the age of 47 as well. And then 1987, Fred Astaire at the age of 88. We move on to 1999 and it was time for Buster Merrifield to depart. You may recall he played the part of Uncle Albert and Only Fools and Horses, replacing that important third person when Leonard Pierce, who'd played Grandad for, no, for so many years, passed away. And then finally this week, in 2005, at the age of 81, a gentleman by the name of Jack Kilby 
not perhaps a name on everyone's lips, but uh, he was responsible for the handheld calculator, amongst other things. Thanks very much. See you next time. Right, so, last diary of the dead for a little while. Well, so we're not doing them while we're away? More or less, I've got to take all my gear away. No. No, you, you still perhaps do diary of the dead, don't you? Or, you know, you can do it in a jet chair, can't you? In a white shirt? Well, could do, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? It may be the last diary of the dead for... Well, he will be back. He will right. be back. Yeah, because this... There's going to be so much happening with natters and other videos and blogs yep. and, you know, one thing and another. We might knock the dead on, on the, the head. head. <laughs> God, that was corny, wasn't it? So the dead are being knocked on the head yep. for the summer. Yep. So we will be back first week in September with who died. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, no. Yeah, we'll skip that. Right. So the rest. Uh, so that's it. Yep. There will be something coming out next week. Yep. Obviously, it's the day we travel and the weekend packing and getting ready for the caravan. We finish work on the Friday, don't we? Um, and we're travelling on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. We're not going to promise a full natters. There will be something come out at 6 o'clock at night. Not exactly sure what we should do, uh, but there'll be something, won't there? Yep. And then... During the whole of that eight weeks, there'll be various things happen. Hopefully, there'll be some Natter specials. Mm -hmm. There'll be the regular weekly Natter, somehow. Right. <laughs> Who knows? It'll it'll vary, won't it? This one because yes, because because of being white away and everything else, and things to do, and family and friends and everything else. But you will get lots of rubbish thrown at you, I suppose. Yeah. Yep. So do you think that's it? Shall yep. we? Shall we make it a quick one tonight? Well, it's not that quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, so it's good night yes. from the blogger in black. And it's good night from the party partner. Good night. Good night.